Oh sorry 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 I didn't mean to. The music was so good. Let me introduce Kamalju. He's a process engineer with a professional designation and backed with 35 years in the oil and gas industry. Today, he's going to answer the question. Who is a process engineer and what is his job? A process engineer is a reserved term for the oil and gas industry. A process engineer would have completed as a minimum an undergraduate program in a college of engineering. The undergraduate program can be in chemical engineering or oil and gas engineering. It is wrong to call a mechanical engineer as a process engineer since he would not have studied the courses necessary for being a process engineer. However, a mechanical engineer can be called a facility engineer. A facility is usually understood as utilities required for production. Utilities are water, steam, compressed air, nitrogen, and other non-saleable products but necessary in production. A petroleum engineer cannot be a process engineer. Petroleum engineering is a study of courses related to production and handling of petroleum fluids in a reservoir condition. Universities design courses for mechanical and petroleum engineering that are like the courses in chemical engineering. But they are taught with a different intent. The questions raised in those courses are very different than the ones in chemical engineering. Therefore, in summary I would state that process engineer is a position reserved for chemical engineer in the oil and gas field. The job title of a chemical engineer is reserved for fertilizer or a pharmaceutical plant. These terminologies I am stating here are common in the engineering companies more than an operating plant. A process engineer is a mystical term for some. Everyone knows what is civil engineering, mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. But when it comes to process engineering, they could be drawing a blank. Throughout my career in engineering offices, I have overheard guys saying, he's a process engineer. What does he do? This video is going to answer such a question and more. I am making a series of videos on process engineering and invite you to be a part of it by subscribing to this channel. We could use this great platform that YouTube provides to discuss and enrich the information we already have. So, let's begin. Functions of a process engineer. Number 1. Temperature and pressure profile. Start to finish. The number one function of a process engineer is that he should be aware of the temperature and pressure profile of a given system from start to finish. What I mean by temperature and pressure profile is that a process engineer should have a firm grip on the pressure and temperature at every point in the system given to him. A process engineer knows the consequence of changing temperature and pressure at any given point. Therefore, it's his job to define limits of fluctuation. These limits are then transferred to the controlling instrumentation and is called the allowable operating range. A range has three set points, low, normal, and high. In operating the plant, the target is to hold the system within the given operating range. However, operation upsets happen due to surges upstream and downstream of the plant. When such upsets happen the pressure or temperature falls or rises outside the defined range. A process engineer designs necessary actions during upset and integrates them in his design. Temperature and pressure profile is established by performing a hisses simulation. Process simulation can also be done using other platforms like hisses. I will make a video on hisses simulation later. It will showcase the objectives a process engineer is interested in, not on how to make the simulation itself. From the simulation results, a process engineer will derive the size of pipe and equipment for gases and liquids handled in the given system. He will then base his derived sizes and compare the detailed design that a fabricator or vendor will submit. This is a stage called vendor approval, and we'll come to that later. Functions of a process engineer. Number 2. Locating spec breaks on the drawing. The second most important aspect a process engineer will identify is the exact point in the system where there is a transition of temperature and pressure. This task is crucial to process engineer. These transition points are identified in the hisses simulation process mentioned before. Process engineer's job includes interpreting hisses results and pointing the exact location on the drawings. 
identifying the transition point is necessary since all material have a breaking point. These transition points are called spec break on the drawings. Process engineer will ensure there is sufficient protection at all spec breaks identified. Such protection will ensure that materials are exposed to their defined temperature and pressure limits. He will ensure the temperature and pressure rating of the material used in the upstream and downstream of that spec break. After a process engineer identifies the spec break, a series of activities will follow from other disciplines. Therefore, a process engineer is sometimes called the lead person in the project. Each of these points I am listing here will need further explanation. I am aware of that. I am making more videos and hope to catch you there again. A graduate engineer, who is wanting to make a career as a process engineer, will benefit most from these explanations. Functions of a process engineer. Number 3. Safety in design. The third function to list here will be the subject of safety. While safety is everyone's business it is the process engineer who will identify potential risk. He will then recommend appropriate devices to be incorporated in the system to remove that risk. He will design equipment that will safely dispose gas and liquids to the environment. While other disciplines also recommend devices that will enhance safety, a process engineer will oversee and approve all such devices. The objective behind his approval is to ensure that such a device will not interfere with the project intent, or it will have no negative impact to other devices. A project in a discussion has many phases from conception to commissioning. Each phase is a multidiscipline engineering involvement. Most disciplines work inside their box but not so with process engineering. Though he has a defined box too, he still oversees the works in other boxes. He's like the nosy guy and well accepted to do that because he holds the responsibility to sign off documents as a suitable fit for purpose. Functions of a process engineer. Number 4. Sign off authority. The fourth biggest function of a process engineer is the responsibility to sign off documents along with fixing a professional seal. He will affix his signature and date on top of the regulator's rubber stamp. Document sign-off process is not followed in all countries. A country's policy to regulate engineering practices goes a long way in minimizing incidents related to design. During the infamous inquiry of an incident, a process engineer will answer questions both legal and technical. Sometimes an inquiry process will summon a professional process engineer for his expert advice. However, the signing process will be possible only if the process engineer is also the responsible engineer for the company. To be a responsible engineer for the company, a process engineer will have to be declared in writing in the records of the province's regulating service. For Alberta, the regulating service is called APAGA. Its full form is the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of Alberta. Further, the responsible process engineer's name should be incorporated in the professional liability insurance for the company. You can read more about liability insurance from the APAGA website. Those are the top four functions of a process engineer that I am stating in this video due to a time limit. Please comment and list other functions of a process engineer so that graduate engineers will benefit from that information. Thank you and remember to subscribe.